everyone, welcome to S3 Bubble. In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a custom media and code template. Okay, so if you go over to AWS and go over to Media Services and Media Convert, you'll see that Media Convert is a AWS service that allows you to encode your media in the cloud. So you can encode a MOV or an MP4 into HLS, Dash, or CMAF. Um, obviously, a lot more to it, but that's just a brief example. Now, you encode the media with things called templates. Now, AWS has loads of set system templates for various OTT setups. We have a cost saving HLS one, but you might have a custom um, encoding job that you wanted. So, for instance, we had someone recently that wants to be able to encode their videos into a portrait um, kind of layout instead of uh, the 69 layout, okay? So, almost 69 in portrait. Um, so to do this you'd have to create a custom template. Now we'll show you how to do this through AWS. So what we'll do first is if we create a custom template called No Presets. Now we've specifically created this template to make it easier for you, easy for you to edit. Okay. Um, so you can go ahead and open the template up in AWS. Okay. So you can see we've got all our template settings here. Now we're not going to go into all the specific settings um, that's up to you we're just going to show you how to change the width and height in this video tutorial just to get you started okay so you can click update and then we can come ahead come in here sorry and we can click change the width and height okay for all these values so we're still going to be using a HLS playlist uh, adaptive playlist sorry and Just copy all these. 720 and the last one. Okay, so all I've done in this template is swapped the width and height, okay, just to create a portrait layout. But you could come in and you could change all these settings. There's loads of settings here. You can get really complex. We can have noise reduction. You can burn in a time code, insert images, color correction, anything needed for a full scale OTT workflow, okay? But we're just changing the width and height because I just want to get people started on how to do it. If you click update and then um, if we go ahead and run a refresh here. Now, if we look at the JSON on our no presets template, so the job template, we want to look at the settings and the output groups. Okay, and now we want to look at the outputs. These are our five outputs that we've just edited and the video description. Okay, and you can see our width is 270 and our height is 480. Okay, so that's going to create our portrait layout. So that's that's what we want. That's how we want to use it. So let's go ahead and encode a video now using this template. So let's go ahead and go over to our storage bucket. Okay, and now if we go and we're going to encode this, we've just uploaded a mob file, a mob trailer example to our bucket. Okay. And we're going to encode this to HLS using our custom template. So let's go to Media Encoder. Next, we're not going to be adding captions, audio. We're not going to be doing DRM, and we're not going to be clipping. Okay, um, we're not adding ads in this, but we're going to be outputting it to our delivery bucket. And what we can do is we can put uh, portrait and in an example folder. So let's just give it a custom output folder. Cloudfront distribution is the one that was set up with our OTT quick setup, and now it's here is where we want to set our job template so this is the template with no presets this is the one we set up to create a portrait style um, encoding job and let's just check all our outputs click submit and it's successfully created okay so now this just starts our job and as you can see it's progressing so what's happening now is AWS is encoding your media in the cloud and then it's going to output it to our delivery bucket um, with all the settings that we set up okay so I'm just going to pause this video while we wait for this to complete Okay, great. So as you can see, our job is now completed. So let's go ahead and view this player. Okay, and you'll notice that the player is now playing in a portrait uh, layout. So obviously, our video player is not set up to play with a portrait layout, but um, you could paste this into Safari using the direct link just to see how it's all set up. As you can see, we've encoded our job and it's now in a portrait layout. So that's just a, an example of how to get you started to create your own custom templates. I hope this helps.